Hello, Type Choice here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create paragraph styles in Adobe InDesign. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I've just created a new InDesign document, created a text box with some text right here. And let's say that we want to actually create this text into a paragraph style. We can actually do that in a few easy steps. So first of all, you want to create the text you would like to create a paragraph style of. I have done that right here and formatted it with a font and a font weight right here. So we are actually now ready to create our paragraph style. So to do that, we first want to click on our text that we would like to create a paragraph style of. Then we want to go over to the right side and find the paragraph styles panel. That is this one right here. And if you cannot see this, you can actually find it up in window. Go down to styles and choose paragraph styles. You can also use the keyboard shortcut F11. And this panel will now show up. From here, you want to click on these three lines and choose new paragraph style. And this new paragraph style panel will now show up. In here, we can give it a name. So let's just call this paragraph style one. As an example, you can just name it whatever you would like. Then we want to go down to the general right here. And we can actually make this paragraph style based on another style. If we had multiple styles, you could actually base this on an existing style you have created. In this example, I don't have any other styles, so I'll just choose this no paragraph style right here. If we just go down right here to the shortcut, we can also choose a shortcut for our style. So let's say that we want to use this style multiple times in our document. This could be a good idea. And then you can actually just go down right here and choose apply style to selection. So that means that when I press OK, it has taken our selected text and created it into a paragraph style. So if I now press OK, and if you go into our paragraph style panel again, we can see that our paragraph style is right here. And you can see that it is selected. And the cool thing about creating paragraph styles is that you only have to change them once. So let's say that you want to change the font weight in this paragraph style, and you have been using your paragraph style multiple places in your document. Instead of going in and selecting all of our text and going into change this, we can actually just go into our paragraph styles and selecting the paragraph style we'd like to change. So just double click on it. And we'll now open the paragraph style option again. And in here we have all of our settings for our paragraph style. And if we choose the basic character formats, we can just find another font style. Let's just choose a medium as an example. And if you turn on preview, you can actually see the changes while you're creating them. So if I just choose, let's say, a bold, you can see that our paragraph style has now been changed. And you can just press OK. And if I now try to create some new text, all I should have to do to use our paragraph style is just go into the paragraph style, find the style we have created, and just click on it. And we have now selected our paragraph style. If you don't want to go into the paragraph style every time you want to change something, you can actually also just change it by selecting some text where you have used your style. And let's say that we wanted this to be italic. I can actually just choose this. And you can see that we have now changed our paragraph style, but it is actually not saved. So if I try to go back to my paragraph style, you can see that there is now this little plus, which is overrides. And that is actually just in the sign that says that we have changed something, but we haven't saved it. So we want to actually update our style. And the way we do that is by just right clicking on this and choose redefine style. And we have now updated our paragraph style. And as you can see, it has also been changed over here because we have selected our paragraph style. So yeah, that is actually how to create paragraph styles in Adobe InDesign. If you want to see how to create a character style, 
watch the next video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.